What's going on guys, Sinclair Photos here. Today we're at a McLaren Festival. There are gonna be a whole bunch of McLarens, obviously. Some super expensive cars up in the millions and millions of dollars. So if you're excited for that, stick around. Let's get right into it. We're immediately greeted with the 765 LT. Look how beautiful this car is. This is probably up there with like the hypercar level of design with McLaren. Oh my goodness, the green makes it look like an absolute spaceship and those seats on the inside are something else. These cars are coming to be the fastest out here right now and I can't blame them, they're insane. Up front and center we got the baby P1, the 600 LT with the P1 style carbon fiber hood and the thing that makes this car one of my favorites is the roof scoop. That is so awesome. This car is just crazy, crazy cool to look at. And he's got the plate, baby P1, like an absolute baller. This dude has a bunch of really cool cars and uh, this is added to the fleet, man. This is so sick. Down here we got a 720S next to another 600 LT, next to a color I've never seen before on a McLaren GT. I don't know what color that is, but that's like very close to Blue Bunny Blue, and I love that. If I was gonna get a McLaren, it'd probably be this one. Well, not the GT, but the color. Then I got another 720S with some goodies. Got the Vorsteiner front lip, and got the carbon rear wing, that's sick. This would probably be more my speed. That's the exact same color, but on a 720S. That is super duper sick. Then we got another 720S that matches a McLaren Senna we have here today, I believe. Also with the carbon front bumper. Man, that is a nasty combo. And to top it off, we have a third one in the bright lime green. Dude, McLarens, they're pretty sick to look at, I agree. These are amazing. I'm out here oogling and ogling at the McLarens in Jordan. Just keeps pointing out that there's a GTR here. I think she needs to get her money up, not her funny up, and get one for herself. I like being funny. And broke. Yeah. We got Ronald McDonald in the house today. Came out with the 570 GT, 570 SR, 570 something with the big wing. Usually these liveries are safe for like their special editions but I think this one just has an extra wing and some stickers. Next to old Ronald, we got the Carbon Overload 720S. This thing is crazy. This one has a Senna style hood instead of the P1 style that that 600 LT had back there. Full carbon roof, carbon, I guess, louvers, mirrors, and a big rear wing. This is so cool. Something I noticed pretty funny about this one the wheels are the exact same wheels I have on the Supra. Well, had on the Supra, the Vossens, baby. So if there are any McLaren GT owners out there, hit me up. I got white wheels for sale, baby. Holy moly, I was not expecting to see this today. This is a full carbon fiber, 675 LT. I'm pretty sure this option is like upwards of $500,000. I know it is for some other companies, but to have a completely carbon fiber McLaren 675 LT, you know that ain't cheap, but it looks so dang good. This is the main section of the show. We have the big boys, but we also have copyrighted music, and that's not good to see these cars, so let's hop into a montage, baby. There's a fly on the saber that thinks it's like a nice little flower. So for those of you that don't know, this is the McLaren Saber. 
around four million dollars I'd guess and there are only 15 of these in the entire world one really cool thing about them is if you look inside the cabin one seat is orange with black inserts and one seat is black with orange inserts and this goes the same with that one over there yellow and black and black and yellow but in the middle with the fully exposed carbon fiber McLaren speed tail this is a three-seater from McLaren. As you can see, the steering wheel is in the middle, and the middle seat is yellow as well. This dude has quite the car collection. Same guy goes owns both of these. Love when he brings out his cars. It's always a pleasure seeing them. So there's also one thing that puts these cars apart, other than the fact that this one is a three-seater and this one is a two-seater. This one doesn't have any mirrors, if you didn't notice. There's actually just little things that pop out in the corner down there when you're driving if you want to turn it pops out and there's actually a screen behind the a pillar of the car that you can see where you're turning that's the future baby so you guys have seen both of these cars on the channel before if you don't know these are the mclaren senna's the very track focused hypercar from mclaren and the man that owns this one actually keeps it inside of his living room as like a art piece there's a news article on that somewhere on youtube so if you guys can find that that'd be super cool but this man crazy man has a bunch of mclarens loves to go on rallies hopefully we'll get to go on one of them someday if we can get a mclaren for the channel which i believe we can so if you guys want to see a mclaren smash the like button and help this video get pushed for the youtube algorithm i appreciate that very much So this car we've seen on the channel before, but not in this beautiful new wrap. This is actually Unspeakable's car, the YouTuber that does like gaming and other really cool crazy videos. He got his thing wrapped in like an apocalyptic style warehouse 720. I think that's pretty cool. All the added carbon fiber, four Steiner bumper, hood, and the wing. Hopefully we get to do some content with him and this car in the future. That'd be super cool. Mike, you're in there guarding copper. This man's living it up, guarding McLarens on a Segway. That is so cool. Let's scrap the McLaren idea and just get one of these for Sinclair Photos LLC. My goodness, we'd be riding in absolute luxury. Got the TV, the RGB, a seat back there, and even our driver would be in luxury. I think this is uh, this is next up on the list. In the corner over here, we got a nice black GT3 RS, completely murdered out. Then a C7 Z06 and the 1 of 50 Lamborghini Gallardo Squadra Corsa. So I'd say in this little area right here alone, we got about four, 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 I'm gonna say, one, one. So what's that, like $15 million? Jesus, man, this is some money. If you had to pick any of these McLarens at the car show for me to buy, which one would it be and why? I say the one with the three seats or the speed tail as AJ calls it. I don't know. But I like the one with the three seats because um, I can shove my bag in the other seat without having it on my lap or if I ever get friends, we can all ride together. I guess that means I have to make like four million dollars. Yeah. Let's freaking do it. Smash the like button. So this is uh, owned by the same guy that owns that white senna over there thousand wheel horsepower mclaren 765 lt that is so crazy i think we started with this car but i didn't quite realize the pack the punch that it was packing thousand wheel in a mclaren that is that is just baller right there 
Before we head out, I heard that there are some hidden gems inside the parking lot itself. So we're gonna actually hop in the car and then drive around and try to find some cars. Cause there's a Lamborghini Urus just chilling over there. We got a Rolls. Then right across we got a Ferrari California. Okay, okay. And then we got a GT3 RS. Wow! 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 And an Aston. This parking garage is stacked. Got a very pretty GTR. We're right behind a 992 of Turbo S. That's pretty cool. And a Performante. His plate was hard work. Oh look, it's gonna be the double Lambo shot. The Urus and the Performante. Oh, and a pink Hellcat. Bye bye Lambo. All right y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed McLaren Fest, please leave a like, please leave a comment, and let me know which McLaren I should buy for my first supercar. We'll see if that happens in the next year or so. We just gotta keep grinding, putting out videos, and hopefully you guys enjoy them enough to where we can get one of those someday. So thank you so much once again. If you liked the video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.